If we eliminate the lines, the most entrancing star I accept is the star that could be shocking in our sky. It is this one, Bug Crush or Scarab Squeeze. It's a red beast star, and on the remote possibility that you put it where the sun is, it would connect with the circle of Jupiter. It's huge, very unpredictable, and going to explode. It's not so direct as it appears to be in the universe. These giant occasions, like the most ridiculously feared gigantic starbursts, could shake all that we see. Also, what we don't see in its middle. Anyway, Betelgeuse has been considered to be a sign. A red, very beast star that is numerous times more prominent than our sun. Brian Cox and other space specialists figure it could go cosmic explosion whenever. Individuals are generally terrified of what will occur, since the James Webb Space Telescope is taking staggering photographs of the star. When, precisely, will Betelgeuse become a cosmic explosion, and how gigantic of an effect will it have on Earth? Let us sort out a star in the heavenly body Orion that shines so brightly that even individuals from quite some time ago have seen it. The remarkable star, Insect Juice, is arranged on the eastern shoulder of the star grouping Orion. Scarab Juice is the second biggest star in the heavenly body. Its name comes from this component, the giant shoulder. It is quite possibly one of the most brilliant stars in the night sky. On top of being particularly brilliant, the star is also an odd shade of red, which, as we will see, means that trouble is ahead. We've had some huge awareness of bug juice for a long time. A Greek scientist named TMY also focused on it. Around that time, the main thing people acknowledged about stars was their variety. TMY said that unpleasant little animal juice was an orange color. Specialists have been concentrating on the star much more intently of late and now have a brilliant idea of what makes it so bizarrely bright. One of these qualities is that the star changes in brightness a great deal, with an apparent magnitude of 0.6. Bug juice is a variable star, which means that its brilliance changes over time. However, lately, experts have found some new information about the star. In 2019, specialists noticed that insect juice was acting oddly. Despite the way that creepy crawly Jew didn't totally quit sparkling, it wasn't the same, since it had become significantly less brilliant, sparkling at a magnitude of around 1.6. Specialists promptly began to investigate why they were seeing the tenth brightest star above in this impossible-to-miss way. Scientists have had to make a frightening statement in light of their research, which led to the unusual signs the star has shown recently. Scientists say that bug juice could go supernova at any time. Brian Cox, a prominent scientist, made this incredibly dangerous statement as a striking professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Astronomy. You shouldn't take his statement as a joke. He also has a science show, writes a lot of notable science books, and is the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement with Science. Brian Cox says that unpleasant crawly juice looks like a ticking time bomb since it could go off without warning. To compound the situation, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown a gigantic amount of evidence to back up this explanation. Anyway, what peculiar signs has Scarab Juice given that have caused so much concern in space science? In light of new information about bug squeeze, the star has been marked as a supernova candidate. However, specialists are still unsure when it will explode. The fact that unpleasant little creature juice is near multiple times the mass of the Sun is one explanation for this classification. A star, so to speak, ought to be numerous times the mass of the sun to be known as a supernova. Things get really interesting, however, because analysts have used numerous gadgets to investigate insect squeeze, for example, the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory to observe what's happening in space around scarab juice. What they found is still puzzling. It was born on August 31st, quite a while ago. Around that time, the star, bug juice, apparently gave odd signs that made its future foggy. What did they find? Anyway, they could get impossible to miss light waves coming from the star, or over creepy crawly juice, which is very odd. But it wasn't the only thing experts saw from the star. This brings us back to the probability that creepy crawly Jew is a star whose brightness changes from time to time. It was said that unpleasant little creature juice darkened down at regular intervals and had dark spots, much like our sun today. Anyway, the circumstances are different. It changes from bright to dim twice as fast as it used to, 
which is another strange sign that Scarab Juice is back. Specialists tracked down that the star's dimming cycle had hit a vibrant brightness of plus 1.61 in February 2021. This was not long after the huge darkening event. Remember how the star seemed to decrease in an unusual way in 2019? That's because it's generally known as the Great Dimming. We could see that the Great Dimming was the start of Beetlejuice's peculiar behavior, and that made many people worry that Beetlejuice was going to explode. The range of dimming was 1.2 between 2019 and 2020, and the least level of dimming ever recorded was in 2019. So, experts were sure that Bug Juice would go supernova in the next 100,000 years, in light of the remarkable dimming. There is a section occurring in the universe, so this is truly alarming. Specialists immediately adjusted their perspectives. Anyway, when they saw what happened next, Bug Juice got brighter again after the incredible dimming. What's more, it transformed into something even more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is now 150% brighter than normal, making it the seventh most brilliant star above right now. Specialists were scared when they saw a red sparkle in the southern part of the globe. Today, it still gets more intriguing, because this has led to various speculations about what caused the great dimming. First, it's important to note that not all stars have the red shimmer of frightening crawly juice. The red shimmer of scarab juice means that it is a red supergiant star, which is the final stage of a star's life and death. The red glimmer, on the other hand, is caused by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which is much cooler than the outer layer of the sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since bug juice is cooler than our sun, it radiates less energy per unit of surface area despite the fact that it is greater and will eventually explode. Now, we ought to examine what the great dimming seemed to be. Brian Cox asks, does it mean that bug juice is going to go supernova? The fact that Scarab Jew is a red supergiant already demonstrates that it is almost done with its life as a star. A dying star will also usually diminish over time, which is something analysts have chosen. All things considered, bug squeezes a new, strange way of behaving which made scientists extensively more focused. Also, many telescopes are presently focusing on the incredible obscuring. Still, things get really intriguing, since experts actually don't have a profound comprehension of frightening crawly juice. Specialists are presently using the most cutting-edge devices to keep an eye out for the intriguing things occurring around Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope has been perhaps one of the best instruments scientists have utilized up to this point. Starting in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has made a difference. Specialists gleaned some significant knowledge about insect juice. The new pictures of Scarab Juice's unprecedented darkening, taken by this telescope, have shown that the event caused a surface mass launch. In light of new research, we now realize that this mass launch was around 400 billion times more significant than a common coronal mass launch. The James Webb Space Telescope can also look at things that our eyes can't see, like light waves and frequencies. Thus, scientists are amped up for what the telescope will find. Specialists have seen dust mists forming on the star's surface that appear to be leaves in space. That doesn't make sense. Notwithstanding the way that bug juice will die, specialists are still observing it, since they don't know when it will go supernova. Analysts believe that scarab juice is many times greater than the sun, and that the brilliant red star will shine for the next 10 years. However, if we take a gander at the numerous strange things happening with the star, it's challenging to say if this assertion will still be valid after the unprecedented obscuring. So, subject matter experts don't figure bug juice will detonate anytime soon. If Betelgeuse detonates, it will be the first supernova we observe for ourselves since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Specialists also don't want this to happen soon because they are still looking out for the star's odd behavior. Regardless of the way that specialists are sure that scarab juice will go supernova, when exactly it will happen remains a secret. Assuming we analyze the universe without bias, lines, potentially one of the most spellbinding stars, and maybe the most magnificent in our sky, is scarab squeeze, often referred to as bug juice. This red beast star, whenever placed where the sun is, would loosen up to Jupiter's orbit. This unimaginably enormous, unstable star is on the edge of an impact. The universe doesn't work in such clear terms. Terrific events, 
like the feared starbursts, could drastically change all that we see. Creepy Crawly Juice has given intriguing indications as a red, very giant star that is many times the size of our sun cosmologists, including Brian Cox, believe it could go supernova at any moment. The worry lies in the consequences of this event, especially since the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered disturbing pictures of the star. So, when exactly will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and what impact will it have on Earth? It wasn't the same as before. It had become significantly dimmer, shining at a size of around 1.6. Analysts immediately began to examine the reason why the tenth most brilliant star overhead was showing such peculiar behavior. They wanted to make a frightening statement based on their research, which uncovered strange signs from the star. According to their discoveries, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. Brian Cox, an eminent physicist, shared this disturbing data as a regarded professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester. Cox's insights carry significant weight in the academic community. He has written several popular science books and has a science show, making him a prominent figure in public engagement with science. He compared Betelgeuse to a ticking delayed bomb, stressing that it could detonate at any moment. The James Webb Space Telescope has given broad evidence to support this statement, capturing dazzling pictures that highlight the star's instability. Analysts have been especially captivated by Bug Juice's unusual light patterns. For years, cosmologists have noticed its variances, but later studies suggest that these changes are becoming more pronounced. The star's brightness has shown rapid shifts, indicating it may be entering a critical phase of its life cycle. This variability raises questions about the processes happening inside the star and what they could mean for its future. In 2019, after a prominent darkening event, Betelgeuse's brightness plunged to an all-time low, causing concern among space experts. This phenomenon, referred to as the Great Dimming, led many to speculate that the star was approaching the end of its life. Researchers found that insect juice is multiple times the mass of our sun, a huge factor in determining its fate. A star of this size usually undergoes dramatic changes before going supernova. Recent observations have shown that Betelgeuse is currently 150% more luminous than expected, making it the seventh brightest star in our sky. This sudden increase in brightness has spurred various hypotheses regarding its behavior. Some scientists believe it might be a precursor to the star's eventual explosion, while others suggest that environmental factors, such as a dust cloud or changes in surface temperature, could be affecting its luminosity. The James Webb Space Telescope has become a crucial tool in this research. With its advanced capabilities, it can detect wavelengths of light that are invisible to the naked eye, offering further insights into the star's activity. For example, the telescope has observed dust clouds forming on Betelgeuse's surface, which appear to resemble leaves in space. Regardless of the star's impending demise, Analysts are captivated by these discoveries and are eager to learn more as Betelgeuse continues to display unpredictable behavior. Researchers remain on guard while they believe the star will probably stay luminous for the next several years. Predicting its ultimate fate, however, is complex. If Betelgeuse goes supernova, it would be the first such event visible to the naked eye since Johannes Kepler observed a supernova in 1604. The implications of a nearby supernova are vast. Depending on its distance and the energy released, it could potentially affect Earth's climate and life. Cosmologists continue to monitor scarab juice closely, hoping to unravel its mysteries before any catastrophic end. As we explore the universe, bug juice serves as a compelling reminder of the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of stars. It captures the imagination not just of scientists, but of anyone curious about the universe. Ongoing research on this mysterious star underscores the significance of advancements in technology, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, which allows us to probe deeper into the secrets of the cosmos. Ultimately, the story of Scarab Juice is still unfolding. As scientists gather more data, we can anticipate a deeper understanding of its life cycle and what it reveals about the stars around us. Each new observation brings us closer to understanding when, or if, Betelgeuse will become a supernova and what that event will mean for our own planet.